the CBHA gives out research grants and fellowships to um, members. Uh, you need only apply for those, and last year we gave out $12,000 in research grants. And of course, we are trying to do that again this year and going forward. So we welcome applications for funding for research grants. And we're going to very quickly have a brief presentation by Justin Douglas and his group on examples of the type of help, research help that uh, CBHA has given them. So we just want to start by thanking um, specifically Joe Martin, uh, Mark Bonham, and, and the late Chris Kobrak. Um, they really encouraged us uh, in our research and to take a risk in actually putting on an international conference here at the University of Toronto. So I'm just going to turn it over to my colleague, Kira Lucier, one of the organizers. Also, Bretton Fosbrook is here as well as one of the organizers. Uh, and we're just going to briefly discuss how the CBHJ helped us in our research endeavors. Thanks. We'll be brief because I'm sure you're all eager to get some coffee after a great morning of talks. Um, so the corporation was a three-day conference that we hosted in May 2017 um, with Justin Breton, uh, myself, and Professor Michelle Murphy of the History Department. Um, and on. Um, the goal of the conference, we featured speakers. Here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so the aim of the conference essentially was to bring together uh, scholars who are studying uh, business, the corporation, with scholars who are studying science and technology. We're all historians of science and technology located in um, history of science departments who came to be interested in business. Um, and so the goal of our conference really was to bring these two perspectives into conversation uh, by inviting a mix of senior and emerging scholars working in the field, including Lewis Hyman, who's the director of the Institute of Workplace Studies, um, Melissa Gregg, Joe Dumit, Martha Poon. Um, so we had a variety of speakers, you can see some here, um, to go over the overall aim, which is to study the, the, the way that corporations kind of make knowledge, um, the kind of techniques and practices of the corporation, uh, which is really understudied within science and, and technology study. So we had talks on corporate scenario planning, on management education, on the gig economy and labor, um, on product productivity, time management, and scientific management. So we had a variety of topics. Um, and of course, thanks to the CBHA, we were able to, um, to bring in some really great scholars. Uh, so I'll turn it over briefly to Justin to talk about some of the outcomes of the conference. So one of the things we've tried to do with this new field is uh, try to innovate the, the practice of history to include um, data literacy and also quantitative analysis and studying specifically strategies uh, that have been used in the corporate world. So we want to really apply our knowledge in the history of science and quantification and social science and see how these techniques really integrated themselves into corporate boardrooms, cubicles, and loading bays through logistics, personality testing, scenario planning. Um, some of the outcomes, we've co-authored an article that's being submitted to Engaging Science, Technology, and Society that's under review. We have interest from the Business History Conference for a Techniques of the Corporation workshop. Uh, we also had a Techniques of the Corporation panel at the American Anthropological Association, and there's significant interest in a 2018 Techniques of the Corporation conference. Some of the things that we want to talk to you today just briefly about is the outlook of this field in Canada. Um, so we are hoping that a field-defining publication that we've co-authored will draw interest, both from people in the business schools, but also the social sciences and humanities. Um, most of the presenters were Canadian. However, most of the business historians were American. Uh, the Canadians tended to come from fields such as geography, anthropology, and also some legal scholars. Business historians attached to the conference worked with the United States, and as I mentioned, and I think Joe mentioned yesterday, they're more interested in studying domestic history. What we're trying to do, and this is maybe just a job pitch, we are all in the job market, um, and we're searching for jobs to bring this type of study of history, strategy, organizational theory, uh, as Red Wilson said yesterday in his speak, speech, uh, historical uh, decision making to Canadian schools with this innovative historical approach where we integrate quantitative analysis, um, and also study the history of strategy with Bretton Woods and uh, personality testing and organizational theory um, and myself the history of finance. So again, 
Thanks to uh, Joe Martin, Mark Bonham, and late Chris, Chris Kolbrak for encouraging us to take this risk and helping us in seeing this international conference here at the University of Toronto. We're hoping to continue and build this field. And if it wasn't for the CBHA, this would not have been possible. So thank you very much to the CBHA and its organizers for encouraging young scholars such as us to take a risk. Thank you.